Welcome back to Built by Design. Today we're going to be covering how to turn 2D sketches into 3D objects. So we're actually going to go over here, create a new document, and sketch from that. So once you have this sketch how you want it, and this is exactly how you want to turn, turn things into 3D, you can click, go over here and click stop sketch. This is gonna take you into the 3D kind of modeling environment. So what I like to do first, go over here, click the top corner of that cube. It's gonna rotate me to a kind of a skewed view. And then what you can do is you can click press pull. So this is how you turn 2D sketches into 3D object. You just click on the plane that you want to turn into 3D and then you drag the arrow out. So let's say um, I want to make this three and a half inches, 3.5 inches, there we go, click enter, okay, and I have that. So there we go. But I want to go back and I actually want to, I'm gonna go backwards and turn that, I, can, I want to turn the circle as well um, out at the same distance as um, this little box thing. So going to select the circle as well. Um, hold shift when you do that. So you can select, oh. hold shift, select, you can select multiple objects and multiple surfaces um, before you then, and then they will both create or extrude as I call it at the same time. So you also can notice here that I didn't select um, this corner up here. So you can select both corners or you can select just whatever you want. So it's, you're not limited to, uh, to the initial rectangle that I may have made it, the outside profile. You can do inside profiles as well. So that's good. I like that distance. So. Also, another thing to show, um, even though I made these initially, they extruded them the same, I can go and click press pull again, and I can make that longer. Even, th and they're not going to adjust the other two. They're, they're completely independent of one another and not linked. So there's another way of creating 3D objects, and that's with extrude. So if I click extrude, just like the other one, you know, it's gonna make the face and it's going to extend that and make it longer. But there is some differences between press pull here and extrude here, and let me show you that. So if I'm using press pull, it's actually going to be kind of geometry aware, and it's going to move that plane all the way across and keep that the same if I do it like that. You can click cancel actually. But on the other hand, with extrude, it's going to take this plane and move it only forwards and only backwards. So it will cut backwards going into the object or if you move it forwards, it'll go directly extend forward. So this is important to understand kind of the differences between them because they are very useful both in their own right and for different uses. So that's the basics of understanding 3D and how to turn 2D, 2D sketches into 3D geometry. Um, if you watch the next section, we're gonna be showing you a bunch of shortcuts to be able to do this sketching to 3D workflow a lot faster as well as then some shortcuts within the program. Thanks for watching, Built by Design.